Hi, uh, I'm Prithvi Mangiri from Bangalore. I'm a drummer, music producer, and a sound engineer. The electricity bill was very high because AC and all the equipments run. Uh, example, morning at nine to evening, I don't know when. Whenever the project finishes, it stops. So the bill was around six thousand per month, seven thousand, which was a little too much. You can say that I'm saving about six thousand rupees every month. This is great, and the lifespan is about thirty years. So six six thousand into thirty years, you can imagine. <laughs> The solarizing happened, I think, three years ago. Um, that is 2019, you can say. After that, uh, the power uh, usage and the bills have reduced like way too much. So we're happy for it. So the main usage are in the studio and the rehearsal room. At home, it is basic appliances like fridge, or microwave, uh, water geysers, and uh, we have a rehearsal room also at the other side. So there are a lot of other uh, musicians, bands. And a lot of independent artists come there and rehearse. So mainly the AC runs throughout the day, and the console and all the other equipment runs. At home, we are about uh, six people. That is uh, me, my wife, and uh, my grandparents and parents. So yeah, that's about six people. With respect to number of panels, uh, there are fifteen panels which we have installed. We got it installed from a company called Prasiddhi Solar Private Limited. It took about. Uh, a month you can say because there were a lot of uh, permissions and a lot of uh, NOCs like which was required for you to start installing and then incorporation uh, took about three days so just to connect that to the main grid when the studio started in 2014 August I mean we waited for almost like you know three years four years to see how uh, it shot up before the studio it was around 2000, 1500, 1700 based on the seasons like how I said and then after the studio set up from 2014 it shot up to 4000 ish and when two studios have come it is about 6500 like how I told you once the, we put up uh, solar panels in 2019 it, it drastically came down to like like how I said it's plus 500 rupees it's the government is giving us like maintenance with respect to solar panels is literally zero what you have to do is when it rains there might be dirt or maybe, or you know, the dust particles coming in the rain and it just deposits on your panel. You just clean it once in 15 days. The lifespan is 30 years, so you don't have to uh, do anything. After 30 years, you just have to change the solar cells in the panel. They don't have to change the panel, it's just the cells. That will cost you about 1 lakh rupees and again, lifespan is about 30 years. Like how you said, the break even takes a longer time if you add up batteries and you know, batteries not since like one or two batteries, they have to put on 20 batteries. One thing is there's no storage. Mm -hmm. You need about this big room to store all the batteries, a lot of maintenance. You need to keep adding up a lot of distilled water and a lot of other maintenance for it. And lifespan of batteries is very less compared to uh, what, what we have right now. Mm -hmm. So the cost every uh, three years or four years of battery key needs to be changed. So yeah, that's the main reason of not taking battery and then just going on the direct. Confidence level is definitely high and uh, you're not thinking about uh, the bill anymore. Uh, today we've done about 7.1 kilowatt from morning till 12 o'clock. Uh, for the month of August we have generated 15.22 megawatt. Yeah. On a super sunny day, what does it Super sunny day, I think you can generate up to 4 uh, kilowatt. A 5 kilowatt plant will not generate full 5 kilowatt power. There will be losses which is uh, due to all the mechanical structures, wire losses, electromagnetic losses. And so it will generate about 4.2, 4.3 ish, 0.7 kilowatt uh, losses. Are 